We've imbibed a teaching culture during the, the Chakadar summer school, which takes into consideration all the three main aspects of the, of the teaching that, that has occurred in, in, through the ages in Indian music. Uh, first one being the Guru Shisha principle. The, the, the Guru Shisha principle that we're uh, promoting here means that you actually get more deeply involved, you get deeply involved in the culture, the way to respect your guru is so important. You, you develop the love for your guru, the love for your music. It makes you, makes you humble. So that's a Guru Shisha principle. The main target, I mean, the, the goal here is to, is to come and be in an environment where you can learn Indian music. For some it's tabla, for others it's sitar. Maybe it's going to be something more in the coming years. Prabhu came from uh, Paris. France to learn from me many years before and he worked with me also in Paris, in uh, France in different uh, workshops. So I know his capability of teaching. He's a good teacher. He has done a very good job. It had helped me to teach the students more, be more good. And uh, definitely is a good tabla uh, player. See, see, the whole tradition has been an oral tradition for hundreds of years, and uh, there's no documentation at all. So uh, we are trying to do that. And in fact, it was interesting this time for me because I, I started teaching on my computer yeah. because uh, of the facility of you know being able to project it on the screen. And uh, thereby, what happens is I end up saving the whole file. I save the project. And I am able to register all the information, save it, and keep it with me, which, which I think is a great way to kind of move forward. Yeah. And some of the students keep it, they keep it well, they don't keep it well, mm. they write the composer's name, they don't write the composer's name, so it's lost. So we have to find a way how to kind of archive all the material, document it. Rhythm is something which is common to any tradition. And uh, when you want to work on rhythm, sometimes it can help to, you know, to change the angle to explore the same thing but from maybe a different instrument you know just like you know you're watching at something you know and suddenly you know you turn it and you're you know, finding oh okay I didn't see that so sometimes when you switch to some other instrument you find with talking of rhythm you find that there are things that you haven't seen which you can't see so just you know I think it, it helps to to train them for rhythm for uh, the perception of rhythm and, 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 and get into their body so uh, to kind of uh, round this all up, uh, 